Hello, good morning, you guys. I am here all the way from Australia. We have <laughs> Mr. Grant Perez. Hello, what's up? Hi. Thank you, thank you for having me, thank you. And if you're lucky enough, you'll hear every now and then a little sliver of Australian accent. <laughs> Just a little, little instance. What's the, what's the thing you said earlier was like, uh, Nolly. Nolly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Opportunity, Nolly. you knew like, yeah. Opportunity. Do you, have a, do you have a thing for accents? I think most girls do. Oh no. I think most That's people dangerous. Do. Oh no. Dangerous. But tell us about so from <laughs> Australia, how did how did you end up in LA? How did it all begin with you and music and your guitar? Um, so I've always grown up in like a musical family. We weren't like classically trained or anything, but uh, my brother always like played guitar and stuff and and so did my sister. They always sung covers on YouTube and whatnot. So there's actually videos of me from when I was like five years old on YouTube. Um, so I always grew up around covers and singing songs. Um, they wrote music, I didn't. And I guess it wasn't until maybe 2019, mm -hmm. and that's when I started taking YouTube seriously. Cause I was like, oh, I can get monetized. And yes. I, can, I can make money. People can see. Yeah, yes. people can see me and stuff. Um, and I can really just show who I am as a person as well as a musician. Um, so I guess it all started off in YouTube in 2019. And that all snowball affected, started making my own music and brought me here ultimately, yeah. So I was like on the way here yeah. and I wanted to like go deeper into like your music and I heard Cherry Wine, we're gonna talk about that song. That song is a good song. Yeah. But yeah. I, the first thing I thought, and this was my first note about you was, where did this like scrumptious vocal tone come from? <laughs> so yes, were you yeah. like trained? Like what's up? No, um, I never, no, I never really went through vocal training. Uh, a lot of it was mainly just through trial and error, listening to how my siblings sing. It's jazzy. Yeah, way. I'd say uh, the music that I listened to growing up was like R&B, jazzy type stuff, as well as a lot of old school, like soft rock stuff. Um, there's this band called, there's this group called Bread. Bread. Yeah, and they're, they're like, they're lovely. They're fucking, they're sick. Wow. Um, their stuff is very, very smooth and whatnot. And I guess Filipino music in general is just very, very smooth. And shout out Roxanne shout from out. middle school, up, was Filipino, and every day, because my mom, my mom was working, yeah. I would go to her house after school, oh. and her mom would make catfish, white rice, Whoa. and bacon. Oh, you got treated, dude. Yeah. yeah, you straight up got treated. Is that like native to the culture? Um, if I knew the dish name, then maybe. I wouldn't know. Catfish, though. Catfish sounds, mm -hmm. sounds wild to me. That sounds crazy. Probably There's probably a dish that I know. I don't... Yeah. What is what did like you grow up eating and like? So there's this food. My fa I would say my favorite Filipino dish. It's called sinigang. Sinigang. Yeah. Wow. Good job. The enunciation on that was yeah was was proper. Um, it's like pork and broth and stuff, and you mm -hmm. eat it with rice. You just like drown the rice in the soup and stuff. Wow. Um, it's pretty good. Uh, there's 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 quite a few Filipino cuisine spots around LA, so should definitely. The Make Black Eyed Peas, you ever heard of, you know the Black Eyed Peas? Yeah, right? yeah, of course. One of the members is, is it's Filipino. Filipino, yeah. Yes, he did this really dope song, all in Philippine, like all in that, all in the language. Bebo? Is it, yeah, Bebo, Bebo, yeah. Bebo. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, So yeah, me yeah. and Roxanne would be jamming out to it. Yeah, oh, straight up, really? Uh-huh. Dude, I need to meet Roxanne, man. Oh, sh That'd be so funny. Oh, you want to meet Roxanne? <laughs> <laughs> she, <laughs> I'm, I'm in a mood today. She's like, oh, I was like, oh, I was like, wait, she's here? <laughs> wow, okay, so then, let's talk more about kind of your relationship with your guitar <clears throat> because you, you play mostly acoustic. Yeah, right? I, love, I love the acoustic sound. I, 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 I love nylon string. This yes. is a steel string, so yes. I don't fully get to, you know, have what I want. But no, <laughs> it's, like, it's okay, I, I, I did grow up playing acoustic quite a bit, yeah. And, I mean... I feel like guitar players, when, when they start out singing and writing um, around the same time, they mm. have this like very, just a relationship with their guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Do you feel like all the songs that you write, do they all start like the two and two together? What's your process? Uh, for the most part, when I'm home, yeah, I use the same guitar and really just, I feel like that's where I'm really accustomed to, to the sound, so I know like what, what will come out of it and how we interact with each other in a way. Um, but usually the process with like creating songs is always through um, finding the chords first and then finding the melodies 
you know, the melodies that dance around the chords and stuff. Yeah, give us like a, a songwriting like 101, how to write a song, like um, Cherry Wine. How did that even start? So with Cherry <laughs> Wine, I was writing with some, some guy, uh, this dude on, on like online, whatever. We were writing a song together. Mm. And the song that we were creating, I was like, this, this sucks. I really don't like this. Really? Yeah, doing like, a Zoom session. Yeah, I was like, I don't like where this is going. Mm -hmm. um, and this is like the first time I've ever like been in a Zoom. Mm -hmm. um, so I was like, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna decide and lead it. I want to try and just lead this next bit. So I just started playing like. And I was like, oh, <clears throat> that's nice. So then I, so I, then I started putting lyrics to it. I was like, um, why are you standing on by yourself? Shoes are made for dancing with someone else. Da, 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 da. So that's basically how I do it. <clears throat> if I were to come up with like another progression, like. So let's say that we have that. Mm -hmm. um, what, what could I hear from that? It'd be like. Think about the doll. There's a doll. No. <laughs> Looking at it. It'd be like. Um, what could I fit in that? Double time! If the moment that weighs the I'll say that's basically how it goes. Yes! Yeah. That's basically how it usually goes. Wait, that was so cool. Yeah, Look at thank that. you. Thank 101. You. Now you guys know. Now, now you know. And now I expect songs from everybody. If you're listening, <laughs> write a song right now. No, but yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. You yeah. know, okay, so one thing I read about you that I wanted to bring up mm -hmm. was that so you're like, they were like Gen Z type of yeah. kid. Yeah. However, old soul. Is well, that true? What like do you feel like you're not soul? <laughs> I, I'd say so. I definitely have um, an infatuation for like '80s music and stuff, and just the aesthetic. Really. Which I feel like is slowly coming around as well with this gen. Like people are slowly um, getting back into the style, like having like really flared jeans, really iconic flanneled like floral shirts and stuff. So yeah. I guess I, I guess I'm just in with. The times and the people, in a way. Yeah. Also, like the usage of MIDI drums and like yeah, yeah, yeah. There's that like whole a dark wave kind of like mm. thing coming in from Europe. That's super cool. Me and Jordan are obsessed with that. But yeah, yeah, you know, kind of <laughs> she's like obsessed 80s with influence. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> kind of like eighties influence. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Conan Gray just released his. Uh, I think he did. I only I only figured out about this like recently. He did like a song that's like ultra eighties. Mm. It's like there's no room for like the modern thing. It's just ultra 80s. And really? I'm like, oh, that's interesting. That's pretty interesting. But yeah, I'd say, bringing it back, yeah, I'd definitely say that I'm an old soul in, in some aspects. My, my siblings always said I grew up like as an old man. Really? So I'm like, all right, I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah, why not? I mean, even in the clothes I wear, I, I, I do dress, like a, uh, dress up like a grandpa sometimes. Yeah, so. speaking of clothes, mm. you do have a very cool array of hats that... You oh, like shit. to wear. Yeah. I noticed it. I peeped it. <clears throat> Tell us like about your style. Like what do you prefer in the hat situation? Like in the hats? That. Yes. Um hats are very, very particular. Like this hat was great. It's like it's like not tall. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's not tall on the side. Oh, the yes. brim is like short mm -hmm. and it's also curved. Mm -hmm. Um I think that's my main that's my main, you know, my main three. Has to be it has to be short. The mm -hmm. brim has to be not long and curved. What about and that one hat right. that you have that's like this? Oh, okay. The so when it, hat. yeah, yeah. When it gets to that type of stuff, I love the crazy hats uh, that cover the ears. Really? I feel like that's that's hectic. I feel like that's sick. Hectic is a good thing. Oh, it's Australian slang. Woo. Australian yeah. slang. Yeah, it's hectic. Um, <laughs> I think it's fucking sick. Sorry, I'm allowed to swear. Yeah, go uh, for it. Yeah, I think it's fucking sick. Um, keeps you warm. Mm -hmm. You know, if you wear it, people are like, that guy's confident. You mm. know, that guy, that guy can 
wear anything he wants. You know what I mean? Some uh, a, uh, a common gift that I've been getting on my previous shows is like beanies with like ears on them. Oh. And they hand make it, which is crazy. They what? crochet. In, yeah. Right. Yeah. They crochet. It's crazy, right? Mm-hmm. You might need to steal something off me sometime if you want one. Um, but I gotta learn how to crochet real quick. Yeah. Or you just go to one of the shows, <laughs> see someone with a gift, and you just snatch it. Yeah. Oh. If you want one. <laughs> I'll have to have your permission, but no, he said. He, that he I specifically said can it. Take this hat. I'll be like, oh, okay. One of them yeah. was really cool. It's like um, I wore this all throughout New York when I was there last time. Um, it's like it's like a it's like a scarf thing you put over your head, and it has like frog eyes at the top, what which is really cool. Hell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's tight. You're in LA. You're so far away from your hometown. Yeah. Do you ever feel homesick? Yeah, I've definitely, I definitely get homesick quite a bit. Uh, my mom definitely helps me with that quite often. She, uh, you know, messages me every day. It's like, what are you Aww. doing today? Did you eat? Did hey. you? Eat? It's like, hey, it's two p.m. Did you eat? And they have stuff. To, they have to ask. Cause yeah, they have to ask. And Dad's been calling me recently every morning, um, and whatnot, and. Oh, actually, it's really, really awesome. My brother just had their um, second child. Wow. Little girl, yeah. Uh, I think her name is Kyla. Kyla. Yeah, shout and out Kyla. Shout out Kyla, baby shout Kyla. Kyla. Can't wait to meet you. Okay, well, I think we have a really <coughs> special treat for you guys. You saw a little taste, but yeah. Grant is going to play a song for us. Yeah. So... Take the stage, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right, so this is Silver Lining from my EP, When We Were Younger. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Here you guys go. I was waiting by the ocean Staring endlessly to this void of separation Lovers and a dream Cause we don't talk as deep as we used to If I wanted the weather I could just watch the news I fear we're losing touch But part of me still feels in love Yeah, some things just can't stay what if you and I had passed us by? How different our lives would be. Even if our stars don't end up aligning, there's a silver lining in between. I'm just happy that I once held you close, held you close to me. To say that I'll be fine on my own I remember how you taught me Turn the heart to a home If you were still around You'd say that I'm acting strange I just can't help but miss those days So what if you and I Had passed us by How different our lives would be Even if our stars on end Happy that I once held you close, held you close to me, and I hope you know that there were more than memories made. Cause all the things that you said, I still hold tight with me today. If times could change and take me.
things would be Even if our stars don't end up aligning There's a silver lining between <laughs> 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 thank you, thank you.